Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm and it is the day before Quail Con. Uh, so we're gonna walk the property. I'm gonna show you where everything's at. We'll give you some times so that when you show up, you are kind of familiar with what's going on. So um, campers are gonna start showing up today and you can see this driveway here. So you're gonna come down the driveway. There will be a sign out there. Plus we always have a sign on our mailbox that says My Shire Farm. Uh, so you'll come down here and all campers are going to go straight up uh, and then uh, I'll meet you up there and then we'll, we'll park you. Um, but starting on Saturday, because gates open at noon for all the events, you're going to go over this culver right here. Again, there's going to be some parking signs. Um, and then you'll go through that gate I just opened and the parking will be in there. Now I'm going to take uh, my truck and Jenna's Prius and things like that and we're going to park to show you where else to park uh, but that's pretty much it so far so um, the only people that are not going to be parking through there are the campers because uh, i don't think you'll be able to make that turn with the big the big vehicles so we're just going to walk it we were going to bring the mule but the mule's loud and i'm a talkative person so so we're just gonna walk it, but uh, you can kind of see, I'll stand on this side, you can kind of see the field. George cut down, I don't know, 75 trees. All right, he said six, I, I think it felt like 75. Uh, he cut down six trees, we got a ton of firewood, we got starter wood for you, uh, for the campers or people that wants to stay Saturday night and hang out after the event. Um, there's two fire pits on this side there's going to be two fire pits on the opposite side of the field now on this side it's going to be cars trucks you know things like that on the other side is going to be the rvs the campers the trailers things like that uh, because down there there's no woods so it's just easy setup but between each fire pit uh, there's going to be a, a big trash can as well as a porta potty uh, for all the campers so I'm sure after the event, we'll uh, think of some things that we didn't think of, but we've tried to learn a lot from last year and go, okay, we want to do this and we want to do that and we want to do this. So we're working on it. And I didn't spend five months cutting down trees like I did last year either. So that, that helped getting some extra stuff done. So now, You'll see up ahead, I probably should have shut the gate. You'll see up ahead, now this gate right here is going to be closed um, so that when campers show up, you'll call or text me um, when you get here and then we'll come open the gate uh, just so that we know when people are here or not. So right here, right before we hit the, the hoop house and, and all that, so the gates will be closed like this, and then we'll come out and, and open them up for you. So then we've got, uh, there's not a lot of activity. Now you guys will be over here because Papa the Builder will be showing you his brand new cool Viking house he just built. I don't know if you can see it with the sun, uh, but it's pretty cool looking. He's working on that today, and I'm sure he'll show you the hoop house, and then he's got the greenhouse, and then he's got his workshop, and. There's all kinds of really fun stuff that he's going to be able to show you. Uh, so, but as far as activities go, there's nothing in this area. We tried to confine it all so that everybody could stay together. So the next part is going to be the kids section and the game section. Uh, so George and I was putting out our, uh, what's it called? Rope, tug of war rope yesterday and we started playing around with it. So this actually can be a lot of fun for adults and kids because we were having a blast with it. Uh, but we've got a line and we've got the flags on the rope and so this is a tug of war rope, a couple kids games. The bouncy house is coming today. It'll be right in between all this. Um, and then we've got cornhole. Uh, Papa the Builder actually built these cornholes and uh, Road Dog Customs uh, actually sent us uh, some decals that we put on there. So it says QuailCon, which is pretty cool. Been and Hank has, has been on my stuff. So that's great. Okay, so um, now 
I showed you the where everybody's going to park on Saturday and Sunday. When you do park there, you're going to be in this field right here. Now, we're going to have this gate open, which it probably already is. Yep. So, you're going to be parking in this field. You'll walk through here, like so. And then, you're going to have uh, a welcome person right here. This is our welcome center. So, this is where our handouts are going to be. This is where our... Um, bracelets are going to be for the dinners and for the kids. For the kids, all the kids will get a bracelet with the uh, parent's phone number on it in case we need to call you. And, uh, and then we'll check you in and all that. So that's going to be here and name tags. And the person that person or people, persons, I don't know, uh, that are going to be here is also going to be watching the obstacle course bouncy house, which is invisible right now. But they are coming, I promise. So that's going to be right here. So then the kids will always be monitored, and then it's a dual purpose. So that's pretty exciting. Um, now, we do have, right when you walk in past the Welcome Center, we've got two um, porta potties right here next to the kids' area and uh, next to the entrance and things like that. So that should help a lot. Uh, one is handicap accessible, one is standard. And then uh, we've got George's nice looking area for his godforsaken chickens, but you know, we all can't be perfect. It's fine, it's not a big deal. So, <laughs> so uh, we still got some things to do today, but we're getting there. And then this is where all the main stuff is. So uh, let's walk this way down and then around. So, um, we put everything on this side of the, the pond, uh, and then where you're setting up tables, some vendors are bringing their own tables and tents and things like that. Uh, so right here is gonna be Whiskey Tango Farms and Wynola Ranch. Right over there is gonna be the Bee Guy Supplies. Uh, I've got Keith coming, which is gonna be right behind the rabbits. He's gonna be able to answer any questions. He's an expert that's coming. Uh, he's going to be able to answer questions as far as, you know, feeders, what people are looking for, the prices that people are looking for, how to sell them, who to reach out to, things like that. Um, now, this big honking tent right here uh, is going to be a dual purpose as well. So, Saturday, we've lined uh, tables up so that we, when we do the dinner at night, uh, the line will start back here and then you'll walk through. You'll get all your drinks, your sides, and all that. You'll walk through the tent, and then on the way to the dinner tent um, is going to be the quail and the, uh, the pork. You'll pick some of that up and then go sit down, which we'll get to in a minute. And then on Saturday night, when it's all said and done, we're going to transform this into the lunch tables for Sunday. Uh, but uh, Ed Got Bait donated this to us, and uh, it's been... It's been awesome. We're really, really happy about it. In fact, he talked to me the other day. He's like, if you want another one, I was like, I'll be in Virginia in a month or two. I'll see you then. <laughs> we'll take it. So, uh, and then right behind me is another porta potty, one handicap, one standard. Uh, so that'll be right by the food. And then right where my truck and Prius is, is going to be where the food truck is. Uh, the food truck is going to be one food truck uh, s Saturday. And then on Sunday, they're actually going to have um, a cash-only table where it's pre-made food. Then they're going to have the truck. And then they're also going to have a okay. snow cone stand um, separate. So everything will be separate much faster, and we're splitting up the dinners. Uh, so that should be a lot better. Um, right in front of the food truck is going to be Dale's Quails. He'll be showing up today. I'm pretty excited about. Uh, and then these three vendors were rounding out with electric iris f and e uh, quail farm and pine knit uh, so that's pretty exciting as well um, it's a little dangerous but let's walk this way um, so then you know you can check out all the vendors all the really cool stuff and then on our porch that we built this year uh, which i'll tell you guys a story about that once you all arrive you don't care about it right now um, but when we get up here, this is actually going to be where all the raffles are. Uh, so we're going to put the white, there's two Wynola Ranch cages. One's a big five or six tier. The other one's a Myshire Edition cage. Uh, they'll be here 
all the stuff that fit on the tables, incubators and cutting boards and shirts and this, that, and the other will be up here. Uh, and then on this side of the table will be a Dale's Quails brooder and a Dale's Quails uh, cage. Uh, and the raffles will be a dollar a piece. Obviously, if you buy more, you'll get a better discount. But you'll be able to come up on our deck and check out all this stuff so it's more... Um, you get a little bit more room. We were kind of jam-packed last year. And uh, George will be handling the raffles, so he'll be up there selling them. And that table over there is actually going to be his area. Uh, he'll be selling shirts and, uh, and other things that you want to do. And he just started a new really cool uh, project that you will want very, very badly. So uh, he hasn't announced that. I haven't mentioned it, but he'll be showing you. So make sure you check out George's table because he's got something really, really cool for you. Uh, right over here in our little, what is it, pergolo, um, that is where Linda is going to be with the expert for marketing, uh, so I'm very excited about that. Um, oh, right um, across the driveway from where the Welcome Center is, is going to be where Brubaker and Klombach are setting up with their truck. Uh, and so they'll have a vendor table over there, but because they're bringing a really big, long flatbed, I kind of wanted it out of the way. Uh, so they'll be over there, but you have to pass it uh, to get here. So you, I don't think you can miss it. Um, and then obviously we've got a trash can on each side of this one. Right there is going to be where Verna is going to be and my daughter for a little bit. She's got a busy day tomorrow. She's going to be doing tours and she's going to be doing a kid's butcher class and this, that, and the other. So she'll she'll be in and out but she'll be there with with verna um and like i said you're gonna walk through here and get your sides and drinks come down here on saturday uh our grills are going to be set up on the other side of this table for the uh for the quail so you'll come through here and, and pick up uh the quail that you want and then come to this table this is where george is going to be cutting up the the uh the pig that he did and uh giving you you know pulled pork and things like that and then you'll just walk right into this big massive honking thing uh, so that's pretty exciting uh, I did have some issues with uh, the tent company this year and I think we're gonna try to find a new new company next year we were uh, right where we need to be with tables they forgot something they uh, there, there was there was a lot of issues uh, but now this is where our dinner is going to be on Saturday <laughs> But after Saturday, we're going to move all these tables into the lunch area and we're going to set up all the chairs and this is where the speakers are going to be. Um, I did get a new speaker system this year, so uh, we will have Bluetooth music playing all day Saturday just in the background uh, and then Sunday we'll be having that. I do have sides. You can kind of see on the back. I don't know if it shows in here, but on the back there's sides on it. Um, there's also sides for this front, uh, but we won't be putting those up until Saturday night so that the speakers won't be interrupting other people trying to talk out here. Um, and then the pig roast, can you see where the pig roast is going to be? Like where you're actually doing it? Okay. So on the other side of this tent, there's a little area. That's where George actually built his pit, pit right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Build his pit, so that's where he's gonna be working pretty much all day, um, today. On about two o'clock tonight. Yeah, or tomorrow. I forget what day it is. Uh, we do have a first aid kit. Uh, I do want to show you this massive, amazing thing. Um, I don't know how much it was. Uh, witch doctor from YouTube, Melanie. Uh, she uh, she sent me this, and this thing is awesome if you get injured we got you covered so that's pretty pretty cool uh and then obviously i'm going to hang this up in the barn i think this is a good idea to have hung up in the barn uh but for this year we're going to leave it out just for easy access because the barn will be locked up at all times um yeah we've got a small one but that not like that um so we're getting pretty prepared for you guys. I mean, believe it or not, I even pressure washed trash cans for you yesterday. So, I mean, we're, we're ready for you. Uh, and then we've got, uh, obviously this will be 
uh, blocked off. We're not going to get back there. On the other side of this tent, you can see our new aviary that we fixed. We did some videos on that and, uh, and see the new chicken coop and that's where my bees are. But all that's going to be kind of blocked off from a distance just because, well, my bees have a lot of honey right now and they want everybody to stay away. Um, so, and then right up here, now I was going to turn the electric fence off, uh, but I've chosen not to do that um, because I don't want the goats to start thinking that it's okay to mess with the, the fence. Uh, but right up here, you can walk it. Um, this one right here on the, on the pond, well, there's a goat. This one on the pond uh, is live, so if you touch it, it will shock you. It's not going to kill you, but you'll wake up. Uh, so this one is live. The one next to it is off. Um, oh, no, it's not. I'll turn that off, though. We're hoping to turn it back on today. Oh, you're wanting to put those in there? Okay, they're both going to be live. Uh, so just don't touch the white fences. Oh, look, we have free-range pigs out there. I wouldn't mind them if they just poop somewhere else. Um, all right, so then we've got the barn. Now, I'm not going to show you the barn in this video because that's for the tours tomorrow, but uh, we're ready for you in here as well. Uh, we're going to have eggs available. We're going to have chicks. Actually, I will tell you this. We're going to have chicks hatching tomorrow, so doing, do, during the tours, you will be able to help me move the chicks to the brooders. Uh, and those are actually for sale for you guys. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Um, and then, oh, and then we've got our logo, our Hobbit house here. Uh, and this is going to be our photo booth area. So we're going to have a bunch of cool little signs and uh, stuff like that. Let me see if I can find one. We had this last year, but I don't think we told everybody about it as well as we should have um, quail are my spirit animals so you can take a picture right in front of the the hobbit house which is pretty cool uh, their favorite picture to me for a surprise. that's right and then you'll take that picture to george and he's got a really cool surprise for you uh, so this will be that area um, let's see if the babies are awake. Mama's, awake mama's awake but mama just got fed well, you can, I don't, can you see in there now? There's those babies. They were born, uh, what, four or five days ago? Uh, a week ago now. It was right before the weekend. Time is so confusing. I don't know what day it is. I don't know where we're at. I don't know what's going on. So, uh, but yeah, you'll be able to go over there and, and check out the babies that were just born, I guess, a week ago. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, and there's one more thing to show you. We're almost done. Now, we've had free-range pigs out for about, I don't know, a month, month and a half now. And uh, I don't really care too much, but um, George does. They're starting to tear stuff up. He says they're tearing stuff up. They're kind of cute, but yeah, they need to be put away. Plus, if you're camping out there, I don't think you want to see a big, <laughs> pig, tearing up big pig going, hey, what you doing? Where's your food? What's going on? <laughs> uh, and then all the way down here, so past the quail barn, we're going to have these doors open that uh, Papa the Builder actually made. Oh, well, if we shut the door. Oh, the cows keep pushing it open. Oh. This, we still have to set up, but this is going to be our butcher experience at 1, 3, and 5. Uh, so we've got some amazing experts that's going to be in here showing you, showing you how to butcher quail, how to butcher quail in a different way, uh, and things like that. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, so they'll be in here. And, um, and what? Dinner's in the cooler. And dinner's in the cooler. We uh, got that done yesterday, George and Dennis. Um, did the whole process in about what hour and a half hour and 40 minutes uh and yeah right so uh but yeah they could have gotten it done in about an hour the whole process uh but there's some extra steps to take for uh what we're trying to do for you uh so that'll be going on the fire pit tonight around two 
one thirty two somewhere around there um and then uh and then we'll have a great dinner and hang out so i've got a couple things to do i gotta go collect eggs i gotta go to the post office i gotta set up this i gotta set up that uh but uh, we'll be 100 percent ready for you by noon tomorrow uh tomorrow gates open at 12 noon uh and then like i said the farm tours the barn tours are every hour on the hour um starting at 1 p.m so the first hour from 12 to 1 is just going to be a meet and greet, welcome, hello, and then we'll start the tours at 1 o'clock. Um, and then the butcher experience will be at 1, 3, and 5. Everybody can just show up when they want to show up. Uh, it's going to be a pretty easy going day tomorrow. Obviously, you'll want to check out the vendors. You'll want to get some raffle tickets. You're going to want to talk to the experts. Uh, and then we'll have the dinner from 6 to 7. Um, and then after that, uh, you guys can go into the field and hang out with the campers. You can go to downtown Miamisburg, which is 10 minutes away, and they're having kind of a carnival festival kind of thing going on. They'll be having fireworks uh, later that night, so you could do that as well. Um, and then that's Saturday. So then Sunday, um, gates open at 7.45 in the morning. Uh, the first speaker goes on at 8.30. Um, and then we've got breaks and lunches in between, uh, and then group A and group B, which we'll discuss when you all arrive uh, at, the, at the dinner on Saturday. We'll split you guys up then. Group A will go to lunch, I'll speak, and then you guys will switch, and I'll speak again to the other group. Uh, and then we'll finish up with George and Dale and Chris. Uh, we'll do a live Q&A. We'll announce the winners of the raffles, and we've got a massive giveaway. So if you've watched this long, Wynola Ranch is giving away, not a raffle, but a giveaway of a six-tier cage just for showing up at QuailCon. Uh, so you'll write your name on it. We'll pick a, na a name out of that. It's not going to cost you a raffle ticket or anything else. It's just because you made it. Uh, so that's pretty cool as well. We'll announce all that, and then uh, you guys can disperse, hang out, whatever you want to do. Uh, we'll have live birds available, eggs available, all the vendors will be available. And uh, so I can't wait to see everybody, but I've got to get back to work or I'm never going to get this stuff done. So until noon tomorrow, have a great day, be safe driving, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.